This is an English mahogany campaign sofa. Around about 1830 in date. Um, but it also extends to fold out and become a double bed. So let's have a look at it and uh, show you how it all works. So it's quite um, decorative with this lovely scroll arm and the shaped back here. And to dismantle it, basically what you do, and at the end of the video, I will dismantle it and show you, but I think we can talk through it now, just so you get the picture. As you undo these screws here, this releases the back from the side arms, of course, and when it's all screwed in, it fixes them and supports them. Now the back and the side arms fit to the base on mortise and tenon joints. So you've got the tenons on the arms and the back, and they just pull out, slot back in to fix it. So that's really quite simple. We can see here and here, and perhaps I will just pull you in a little bit on the video to have a closer look. We've got two fittings to take a bolt and um, similar on the other side. And underneath the seat cover, there's also an iron plate to take another fitting. And these were probably to fit poles for a canopy. So you'd have a canopy going up and it would only be a, uh, a half canopy. We should go to the, um, the front rail of the seat and then it would drop down to your feet. So uh, in hot weather, you could have a mosquito net keep out all of the horrible beasties. And in cold weather, you could have drapes just to keep you a little bit warmer. Well, let's move back out again and show you the bed form of it. And I think probably the best way for me to do this is to speed up the camera a little bit so we can save some time. Now, I haven't put the final leg on, just so that we can lift it up and you can hopefully see the square inset iron plates here and the legs have got a corresponding metal thread which fits on. Now these uh, screw on legs have all been replaced. The original legs departed company with this sofa bed some time ago but of course it's very easy to work out the height of them and we can have a very good uh, guess at what the design should be from that and so they've been very nicely turned in mahogany. So there you go from a sofa all of a sudden you have got a double bed um, and it's really quite strong with these six extra legs that screw in it's really going to have a lot of strength to the frame. Design very similar in many ways to the Catherine Street um, sofas and beds that were developed. Um, whether this was Catherine Street or not, we don't know. There's no maker's name to it, but certainly the design inspired from uh, those beds that Thomas Butler and Morgan and Sanders used to make. If we come in again a little bit closer, I will show you the brass plates that would take the canopy I referred to earlier. So, we can see those there. So you'd only have um, posts short distance on the bed and then your mosquito nets or drapes would drop down to the feet for use. So, let's 
come back out again. So that's really quite a, a practical design and still um, very usable as a spare bed today. So I'm going to speed up again, fold this all up, and then when I've folded it up, I'm going to remove the back and the arms so you can get a good idea of how that all works. And the final arm, just lift off, and we can see the tenons here, and we can also see the mortise joints that they fit into. So, two wider ones for the arms on each side, and one, two, three for the back. And so with the arms removed and the back removed, it does pack down considerably in size to make it much easier for transport. So a great design really, and when set up, a very good looking English sofa that most people wouldn't realize had this box of tricks um, that you could do with it. So English, Mahogany, around about 1830 in date. You can have a look at it on our website. Just uh, go to the seating section and you'll find it easy or just do a search on sofa.